Hi, this is Dr. Lisa and I wanted to talk to you about how to wear a mask safely and what are the pros and cons to wearing a mask. So the pros of wearing a mask is that they will stop some large droplet spread of the virus. So if you have a mask and you have symptoms, you're coughing, sneezing, first of all, you shouldn't be going out. But if you don't have symptoms, it may reduce some respiratory droplets into the air by the wearer of the mask. It also may protect you if somebody who is sick is coughing and sneezing and this will protect your face from getting some of the droplets onto it, although it doesn't cover the eyes, obviously. And secondly, it may act as a trigger to help remind you to socially distance correctly when you see someone wearing a mask. So what are the cons to wearing these masks? First of all, they become damp after 20 minutes of wearing and then become less efficient at keeping the viral spread low. It also may mean that you touch your face more. So because we're not used to wearing something on our face, we might touch it, adjust it, and then we're spreading and contaminating our hands. The removal and disposal of the mask is also a very risky time because that's when you can contaminate yourself and infect yourself. It also provides some form of maybe false security. So it gives you a sense that you are extra safe from the virus because you've got a mask on but actually it just reduces that a little bit and not completely so you still must abide by the social distancing rules washing your hands and not touching your face i have to reiterate that the masks should be used as an additional measure not a replacement measure to normal respiratory etiquette and the current social distancing rules so if you cough or sneeze still try and cough or sneeze into your elbow um, wash your hands afterwards, distance from the people around you and only go out when you have to and don't go out when you're ill. All of these rules in conjunction with wearing a mask may help prevent the spread of the virus, but they are complementary, not replacement. If you're wearing a mask, that does not mean that you can touch your face more, does not mean that you can stand closer to people and talk to people for longer. You still must follow the rules. So you want to put on the mask, you need to do it safely. The best way to put on a mask is first of all, wash your hands. Then you need to inspect your mask. So inspect it for tears, rips, any dirt on it, any broken strings. After that, then you're ready to put your mask on. Blue side is on the outside if you're gonna try a surgical mask. The white side is on the inside towards your mouth. There'll be a hard strip across the top that goes over the nose. So try and fit that as securely as possible. Tie these above the ears to the back of the head. Then make sure you pull it right under your chin and the bottom strings tie at the nape of your neck. Securely as possible. It will feel a little bit tight. If it's not tight, it won't work. Now you can adjust your mask and make sure there's no large gaps at the sides. Make sure you've got as secure a fit as possible around your nose and around your chin. Now you're ready to go. So you do your shopping, you come back, you have to take your mask off safely. Wash your hands first. Then you go from behind. Try not to touch the front of your mask whatsoever. Untie the top. Untie the bottom or tear it. Remove your mask without touching the front. Dispose of it into a bin directly. Don't leave it on a hard surface because you'll contaminate the surface. The front of your mask is most likely contaminated, so try not to touch it. So dispose of it, then wash your hands again. So anytime you touch your mask, you have to wash your hands. Avoid touching the front. Avoid adjusting it when you're out in public. Do not pull it down to talk to people. Don't wear it below your nose because it's pointless. You're not blocking off another entry of the virus. Don't wear an ill-fitted mask. So if it's loose, you may as well not have it on. Don't leave it anywhere for anybody else to pick up or contaminate themselves. And do not reuse your mask. I know it's tempting because you may not have many of them, but actually if you re-wear it, you may as well not wear it at all because it could be all infected at the front and you'll be infecting yourself. Hope this has been helpful.